understand we spoke in the last program about morality and I did have uh, uh, one final question about that and it's a broad general question about how to deal with people who are immoral what level of contact is acceptable is there any reason to treat family members any differently than you would treat other people in this context none whatever I am very much against family uh, in that kind of sense in a sense which makes uh, a small tribe out of a family and makes you tied to every second cousin and aunt and ankles uncles that you might have. Uh, the only exception is of course in regard to your parents because their the relationship is different from that to any other person and you have to acknowledge that. Uh, generally you do not break with your parents as easily as you would with other members of the family. Other members you have to judge as you would every person you meet. If you don't approve of them you don't become friendly. You cannot choose your parents in that sense and you have to give them a long, long benefit of the doubt uh, and permit them, in effect, more offenses against yourself than you would to friends or acquaintances. You have to give them a certain credit for the fact that they chose to give birth to you and took care of you while you were helpless but it's not an unlimited claim and if uh, you clash with your parents too much then you have to maintain an attitude of polite duty and see as little of them as possible and that's probably the only realm in which I recognize such a thing as duty as a rule it's a very wrong concept uh, because it asks you to do something for which you have no reason. But the one reason that, that your parents gave you life would make you do more for them or bear, bear more from them than any other people.